Hey friends, welcome back to my channel. I'm Chelsea, and today I'm gonna to teach you how to do this cool disappearing effect. All you need is your phone, a hoodie, and we're gonna use CapCut to edit. So let's get started. This is a still shot, so we'll use a tripod to keep the camera steady. For recording the video, we don't want our face showing since it would make the transition less seamless. So instead, we'll put up the hood, turn away from the camera, and then jump. Now without moving your feet, take off your shoes and leave them exactly where they landed. While the camera records a clean shot of your shoes, change out of your clothes so we can film each piece falling separately. I like to pull my pants over the shoes to keep them in place, or tuck them in if you're wearing shorter shoes like sneakers, then step to the side and let them drop. Do the same with the hoodie. Position it like it was when you jumped, then drop it like it's hot. That's it for filming. Time to put on my editing pants. All right, now that we're done filming, we can start the edit. I'm gonna use the desktop version of CapCut for this so that you can see it on a bigger screen. You can also use the mobile version on your phone. You should still be able to follow along. The first thing we're gonna do is create a new project. Then we want to import all of the footage that we have. I like to pre-break it up into the separate clips that we'll need. I like to do this right on my phone after filming. Just go into the Photos app and save each section as a new video. So we'll have separate clips of the main jump, just the shoes, the pants falling, and the sweater falling. Awesome, we're gonna start with the jump, so you can uh, click the plus button or just drag it down into the timeline. And the first thing we're gonna do is split the clip at the top of the jump. So where you're just about to start falling back down, that is where the editing is going to start. So we wanna split the clip right about there-ish. So what we wanna do is add a mask so that this video disappears from the top down to the bottom, like this. We're gonna go mask, add mask, and just use the split button here. So you can see the clip is split in half right at this line. Let's rotate it so that it disappears from the top first. We can also use this button with the double arrow to change how much it fades at the mask line. We just want it to fade slightly, something like that. And we're gonna start this at the very top of the screen here and set a keyframe so that it knows to start there. If you don't know what keyframes are, I have a whole video explaining them. Basically, it's just telling CapCut at this point in time, mask is here. And then we're gonna go down to when we reach the bottom, boop, 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 boop. Say when you're just starting to land, about here is when we want the mask to be all the way at the bottom of the screen. So if you were to watch it back, this is what it looks like. So as we're going down, we are fully disappearing, which we're then going to replace with just the clothes without us in it. Next, let's bring in clip two, just the shoes by themselves. We'll place that clip under our main footage so that as the main jump disappears, the shoe clip is revealed underneath it. To do this, we will move the jump layer up in the timeline. So now it is physically above the other clip. So now we can see the shoe clip underneath it. So if we were to hide this layer, you see it's just the clip with the shoes that's being revealed as the mask goes down. As a side note, this clip is super long. I'm just gonna crop it down a little bit. I don't need that much time. Now let's start adding in the clothes. We'll start with the pants first. I'm gonna bring that onto the second row, right above the shoes, and we'll actually bump up our jump fall to the next layer, because we always want that to stay at the top. So we'll bring our pants underneath. And as you can see, there's a bit of a problem because you see me holding the pants. So we wanna isolate just the pants from this clip. To do that, we're gonna go to remove background, custom removal. I'm gonna use the smart brush tool for this, which means you basically just click on the object and it finds it really well. The smart brush is part of the pro subscription, but if you want to do it for free, you can just use the manual brush instead. So instead of drawing a line on the object, you'll just have to color in the full object as accurately as possible. Zoom in, take your time getting it right to the edges, and this method will totally work. It's just not quite as quick and easy as using the smart brush. And then to save the effect, you're just gonna hit apply. Now the effect has been applied. Oh, and I knocked this off balance. I'll just drag that back into position. So you can see that if I turned off the bottom layer, it's just the pants, nothing but the pants here. All right, so now we need to align the pants falling with when they're moving down in the main clip, or rather when I'm starting to crouch down after jumping. And then we just wanna crop the beginning. We don't want anything to go past uh, this split right here where everything starts. All right, let's add in the sweater. We're going to bring uh, the sweater down to the third layer move the jump up again. And same as with the pants, we're gonna use the custom removal tool. I'm gonna to use a smart brush to paint out just the sweater. Oh, if you get any of the background, anything you don't want, you can use the eraser tool or the smart eraser tool and just click on that, it'll get rid of it. All right, I'm just gonna sleeve here. 
and be sure to click apply. And there we go, now we have the sweater falling as well. If you're not doing sound effects, uh, what are you doing? All right, so now same as the pants, we're going to move that clip over and align the falling sweater with the sweater going down in the jump. So let's find where we're starting to disappear and we'll move over the sweater clip to try and line up with that spot. So we're falling, falling, oh, too far. Let me zoom in a little bit, get more accurate, something like that. And again, we'll crop the beginning so that it does not go past the point of our edits. Let's see how that looks. That timing looks really good. The falling clothes match up well with the original footage. There's actually one thing that's still bothering me about this and that is that my hood is slightly to the side and so you can see it doesn't quite line up here. You might not notice, it might be fine, but to me it's a little jarring and it's a quick fix. So all we're gonna do is on the sweater layer, we're just gonna move it over so that it matches better with the position of the jump clip. And I'm gonna set a keyframe uh, by going to basic and then find position because I just changed the position of it. So I'm gonna set a keyframe at the beginning there so it lines up. And then by the time it's hitting the ground, it needs to be back in its right spot so that it's not offset on the ground. That would look a little bit weird. And so right about here where it's hitting the ground, we're just gonna move it back into its rightful place. So now the hood lines up perfectly at the start and you can't tell where the transition began. To finish it off, let's crop the end of each layer so that they all finish at the same time. And then we're just gonna export it. And here's our final result. Now you know how to disappear into a pile on the floor. That's the dream, right? Thank you for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and I'll see you next time.